Hey, welcome back. I'm Chris, and today, well, we're gonna talk about some different editing software. Let's do this real quick. Now, I mean, it's, okay, if you tell me free, my ears perk up like a dog when you say bacon. My ears perk up when you say bacon as well. But just the same, I, in one of my videos, I think it was the laptop review video that I did, someone had mentioned in the comments below, I don't even know if the comment was directed towards me or not, and it said something like, use DaVinci Resolve for editing or color correction, color grading, something like that, I don't even know. If, if you are watching the video right now and you're the one that made the comment, throw a comment down below because I thank you very much for telling me about this software. I heard about this software before, but for some reason I never looked it up. I don't know why, I never downloaded it but it said free, free trial. And then when I started looking it up on YouTube, nonetheless, I love YouTube for stuff like this, and, and watching tutorials, the free software um, is amazing. There's so much you can do with it. And then the paid version, as far as I know, there's no monthly uh, subscription fees or anything like that. So that's even better if you do so go that way. And then uh, I guess I think you get like, don't quote me on this stuff because I, I didn't look into it that much, but you get like lifetime updates as well. Either way, the free stuff is what I'm interested in because all my videos and all my transitions and all my edits and stuff, it's all, I like to do in camera stuff. So when I do things, it's all in camera about the only transition that I'll use that's in the editing software is a fade to black or a big fade to, or overexposed to white or something. Because that usually goes with what you're shooting, whether it's really, really bright or really, really dark and I mean, everything else I do in camera. I like the in camera stuff because if you get in the habit of shooting that way, then you always have your transitions, everything's so much smoother and you're ready to go. Yeah, it, it, it really is. I love that stuff. And now, see the beauty of this editing software is that the editing software I was using before which was Filmora, uh, that was cheap. I forgot which camera I'm looking at. See, I'm testing it out. I got a couple camera go going, a couple audio going so that I can do this now in this editing software. But the Filmora software that I used before was really easy to use, but it was limited in the sense that um, the things that I wanted to do while I'm using multiple cameras and B-roll and stuff like that and multiple sources of audio, uh, it was getting limited in how I could edit it effectively and the way I wanted to edit it the way I was thinking of the best way to edit it was literally just stacking the video on top of each other, syncing the audio to it, and then saying, uh, okay, play this video, play that video, play this video, play that video, and the audio just stays right where it needs to stay, and everything's nice and lined up and synced up and ready to go. And then if I'm using a microphone, as in a mono microphone, meaning it only plays on one audio track or channel, I can go ahead and duplicate that so that it plays on both so you can hear it in effectively a fake stereo, which is how most microphones operate aside from an actual stereo microphone that has two microphones and it's recording stereo sound, which I'm gonna play with a bit more because it's freaking cool when you hear that stuff. Every time I was listening to it when I was playing with it, I kept thinking someone was in, somebody was in the room because I heard my kids or my wife or something in the background and it just sounded so good that I, I was very confused when I was listening to it with headphones on. So I'm gonna experiment with that more. So really today's video is really just an experiment for me because I need to learn how to edit this new software. I mean, if you first, at first glance, when you look at it, it's a little overwhelming to edit on this DaVinci Resolve, especially if you've never really edited in this, edited, 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 edited. This is gonna be a tough one. I'm just, especially if you never edited any videos in this format. So you could, like I said, layer the videos, cut everything up and then smoosh it all down to the final edit that you want. And same with the audio, you can have so many audio tracks. So it, it, you know, those things that I made, the audio attenuator, so I can split those audio tracks. So if something did spike, I could just cut that bad audio out, use the good safety track audio and we're good to go. I couldn't do that with the other program. I could do that with this program free. So there's an editing program, and then there's a color grading program to where I can color grade. I can go ahead and say, oh, oh, hey, wait, this is white under these lighting conditions. This is black, this is gray, and boom, auto white balance. And then the better part is if I take a bunch of shots, 
outside or in my uh, uh, barn garage wood shop and I want to color grade all those, I color grade one and then I can copy and paste to all the others. All the edits and I do, I can color grading I do and exposure correction I do, I can copy it to all the other ones. I couldn't do that with the other editing software that I was using. That's a huge time saver. I mean like unbelievably huge and you could do that with the video, you can do that with the audio, you can do that with a bunch of things. So there's the editing software it comes with, there's color grading software it comes with, and then there's audio software that it comes with where you can go ahead and start messing with all the audio you want and drop frequencies out and, and EQ it however you want and really, play. there's a lot to learn. There's a huge learning curve, no doubt. So if you're used to editing, there'll be a better transition. If you've never edited before, there's gonna be a big learning curve, but it's free. So normally, well I say normally, but like a year ago when I wasn't uploading every single day, I would just go ahead and take a weekend and do a bunch of shooting so that I had a ton of videos that I needed to edit and I would just take the rest of the week, the rest of the month to edit those videos so that I could produce a video every week. But now doing it every day, it's a little um, hectic. It's a little crazy trying to do this and trying to learn new software. So before I could just take that time to learn the new software, if I screw up, I could re-edit. I don't have that luxury now because I want to edit every single day because it got to the point before, uh, you know what, we'll talk about this a different day when we come to like the anniversary of me uploading every day, which is soon. It might have already passed. I'm not sure. I gotta look it up. I, I don't remember. But the point being is uh, I'm using this video as a test video and to kind of tell you about this software that you can go ahead and download for free and I'm not getting paid or anything to promote them. I've only used it a little bit. You might have noticed some videos were a little bit different. I'm still learning the software but I'm all for free and I'm all for learning how to edit videos. I'm all for learning how to do good audio and shoot good video. That's what I want to learn through YouTube in the sense of, well, I'm a hands-on person. I need to learn by doing, not learn by reading and taking a class. I need to do it, you know? So that's what I'm doing here. So in the past, I, it wouldn't, I wouldn't have like shown a video like this. I would have just done a test video to learn how to edit this stuff and do new techniques and stuff. But now that I'm uploading every day, well, you get to come along and learn with me and, and see the craziness inside my mind and how I'm thinking I want to do this stuff. So uh, I've been rambling way too much today. So I think we're pretty much done here and I'll see you on the next one. Just in case you are new and you've never seen my videos before, I'm a little scattered sometimes, but you know what? Uh, that's how it is. So if you want to subscribe, do so. It'll help me out, definitely. And if you want to see more content like this, please let me know in the comments below because I find it very interesting. I'm freaking excited about it. And there's lots of other videos to watch. I'm, I'm like this close to 500 videos at the moment. And now after getting this software, it's going to get better and better and better and more fun. Yeah, way more fun. I should have been talking to you on this camera because I want to put the clickable links that, well, they're here now because I wasn't thinking when I was looking at the other camera angle. But just the same, I gotta learn this software because there's so much more I can do, so much more that I wanted to do that I couldn't with the other software. Even, uh, why, man, I think we're gonna be getting into it and doing some maybe, maybe basic, to, anyways, I'll, I'll, I'll see you on the next one.